you have to have a plan, right? So because you can uh, jump from one bu building to the other, but if you miss the rooftop of the next building, you can hurt yourself. Um, so um, did you have at least some people that could have hired you as a freelance in the beginning? And did you have some, you know, the run the, the runway, as they call it, like a few uh, months or a year saving so that even if you don't get any work you can still survive what if you can share some you, it, again this is an open question so you can share as much as you want i don't want to ask you to no no that that, too there, is, there is no problem about this i uh, i leave the company with money so i had um almost one year and a half in front of me so it was comfortable uh, I assure you, and I'm really, really aware. And this was a chance. Um, this is the first thing. The second thing that helped me a lot is to build a business plan, something that a lot of creative people don't know <laughs> yet because it's really difficult to put all your ideas in papers and in numbers and to... In, it helped me to validate the fact that at least in the paper... I can run a company and I won't have to close the door one year after starting this. So this was the the important start not to miss. And then I slowly started to work uh, in the beginning with my former um, employers, but I really, really quickly realized that the money they wanted to give me as a freelancer wasn't the money I want and I, I I can't say deserve because it's really personal but I wanted to charge more so I had quickly to find new clients so I couldn't depend on the on the former uh, referral so it started hard <laughs> it started hard but um, this this was really the best moment to learn it's at the beginning because if you are running great for three or four years and then you have no clients and you have no idea how to find new ones it could be really difficult so here i had some clients enough um to 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 pay me and to pay my bills so for the beginning it was it was good and i i'm not counting the fact that i had um, I had, how do you say, uh, spare spare money, you know, um, money for the saving. saving, sorry. Um, so I didn't need to use my saving because my my company was okay since the, the first year, but it asked me a lot of um, consistency and energy and focus. Fo focus is really, really difficult because you have a lot of things to do. You don't know where to start, what is important. So there were two or three months I didn't work a lot. I was just deep on how I can build my website, what kind of clients I have to reach, how I can to reach. Oh, I have to make um, build case studies in order to make them to know what I can do. So this 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 beginning was... Not so easy. <laughs> no, I can imagine that, of course. Uh, and uh, what was in your business plan? I'm really curious. Like, if you can share an overview of what people write in a business plan. Um, there is a lot of um, pre pre made models that you can find, but it can be intimidating because a business plan is more text and and numbers. There is no 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 graphics or thing like that. So. You have to explain who you are, what kind of study you you made, why you believe. What is your project? I want to build a company with just myself, and I don't want to hire people f for the first year. Um, and then you have to explain what kind of ideal clients you want to reach, how many they could pay you, how how many projects you could do. Um, where do you want to work? If you want to work on your on the office that you will rent, or will you work at home? Do you want to partnership with people? Um, have you think about the 
the low side of the project uh, will I have to um, what, what at what kind of topics I will have to be uh, careful with you know because um, there is a lot of um, oh sorry I, I've missed the name um, when you use typography, you have to pay to use it in different cases. So you have to explain that you can master it and what you want to do for whom and how. You, so it's really, really um, deep documents. But it's really hard to produce for the people who are not really comfortable with the administration part. But it's really, really important because it helps a lot to put the idea of the head and see if clearly it's um, too far from the reality or yes, it can work and you can go. And this is with this kind of documents, you can raise money, uh, ask for, um, for money for the banks or things like that. If you want to buy a uh, new computer. So this is um, main documents. I think every people who want to launch a company should do, even if you don't have a lot of clients or projects. So basically, it uh, explains what you what service you want to offer and how you can offer it. So it kind of summarizes a uh, sort of a pro forecast of uh, how much money you want to make and how much money you need to spend to make them. And how much money eventually will stay in in the end? Yeah, and also, how do you want to reach these people? Do you want to reach them by emails? Will you do um, it? It it, ha it forces you to think about. Uh, I, I'm going to talk the the marketing, but you know the the funnel, the the, yeah. the customer journey. From how do you how do you attract your your client and what which step they will follow until you will sign with them and do the job. So this is really, really big thing. And I don't know if you have this in, in Germany, so, such kind of things. Oh, of course, uh, people, ha I mean, I've heard about business plans, but I'm not in a position that I do it. Uh, I've le heard about it maybe on the, the future YouTube channel or just by reading books that I like to read. But um, it was curious to hear what from you that you have done it in first in first place, and uh, maybe it's more useful for me and for the people who is gonna who are listening or gonna listen to this. Uh, it's interesting, but yeah, I think it's you gave a great idea about it. Now that you're a little bit in the business, have you managed to find? Uh, have you managed to cover the expectations of your business plan? Um. Not for the first year. It was more, most difficult for me because what I didn't understood in the beginning that I had to make connection and, and keep my networking growing. And I didn't do anything of this until this year. So <laughs> I'm really, really late on the subject. And I should have remembered that the people in real estate work a lot with referrals and networking, they are not, they have not really big problem to reach people or to find clients. So I should have remembered that. So <laughs> it was really difficult uh, because I had great um, expectations for the first year. So I have to lower down because now I understood that running a company is not so easy and I've not chosen the the easiest structure in of company in France, you know. A lot of people are starting as freelancers, have small taxes and so it's it's more easy for them to make money if and even if they don't have big projects, they have a little of taxes, so it's okay for them. But I choose the the biggest size. Um, for different reasons, but one of them was I wanted to invest in computers, in materials, so I I had to start with it. And taxes are more important, so even if I did a great amount of uh, profit for 
um, a freelancer, it's not enough for a company like mine. So um, I hope this year, this end of the year will be better. But at least the great point is with the same amount of project, I have at least double my prices. So I don't need to make a lot of project to to have the same amount from the last year. So I think it's a good indicator from the, the health of the company. 